Yo, what's up, Swag? And you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Ken Hollard, a.k.a. K.L. Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, you guys, look, you guys. I'm about to talk about... Well, I'm not going to really talk about it too much. Um, Urinating Tree, you know, he dropped a video not that long ago, you guys, about EDP, man. Um, I just want to hear what the hell he going to say about EDP. And um, I guess other people that exposed him as well, man. But anyways, make sure you comment, make sure you like, and make sure you subscribe because I need a sub because I just got hurt. Ah, my knee. So let's just get into the reaction. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try, gonna try something, something a little wrong. different this time around. Let's see I'm what you're talking about, urinated tree. Regimented. I just want to shoot the shit on a basic topic that has really been grinding my gears as of late. But one thing that's catalyzed this is a certain individual by the name of EDP445. I'm not here to talk about what he did. I've seen the chat logs. I've seen the video. It is fucking disgusting. I want to pee yeah. every time I talk about it. For fuck's sake, she's fucking 13, you sick, disgusting fuck. For so real. in this whole situation, I find the predator poachers more disgusting. Dude, if you have information about a pedophile, don't milk it for money. Send it to the fucking police. Yeah, you know dumbass. Why? Because bro, he actually is the big... Bro, this is why I want to hear you in any tree. Because, they, bro, this, this man is real, bro. That's true, too. He, they also trying to get some clout as well. But also, you could have just turned it in and, you know, boom, send it to the police, blah, blah, blah. But obviously, you want to get viewers, want to get this, you want to get that. So, I mean, yeah. Biggest threat, threat to social media. And honestly, and honestly it's, it's not just YouTube. Look at Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Users who gain success on the platform will develop these seismic egos and think they can do no wrong. And I've seen this happen repeatedly, even before I started doing this shit on YouTube. Look at <laughs> Pro Jared and his underground sex harem. James Charles getting in a scandal every fucking week. Every fucking <laughs> Minecrafting. <laughs> he said James Charles getting in a fucking scandal every fucking week. Oh my gosh, bro. That is so true, bro. James Charles may get caught up with... Talking with a bunch of little minors and shit like that, bro. That man is tripping, bro. Gaming YouTuber trying to fuck their own fan base. For the love of God, have you ever heard of not shitting where you fucking eat? Let's be real. They're not doing this to get love or relationship. They're doing this for power. They're doing this to get their dick wet and to try and cash in on any sort of e-fame you really have. It's honestly the deadliest sin I've seen in social media. The fame gets to people. They see everyone praising them and loving everything they do, and it gets them a big head. And slowly over time, they become more arrogant. Their video quality goes to shit. They become honestly lazier. I might be going into this cycle as well, but at least I'm hopefully not grooming people for sex. Damn. That's not hard, is it? Before we continue, I just wanted to point out that allegedly over 30% of people that watch this channel aren't subscribed. I fucking hate when people use this as a call to action. If people Also, you guys... He's saying I'm saying it too. It's 67% of you guys that have subscribed. It's 32 of you guys that have subscribed. So make sure you subscribe, man. Make sure you click that button. If you want to like and subscribe oh, crazy. to the channel, they'll do it on their own free will. The people that try to milk likes and subscriptions, every fucking video on their channel can lick my taint. Enough of this fake auto action bullshit, let's go on. It's the question that keeps happening. Why should I work hard? People are going to watch my shit regardless, right? Why should I put out a compelling product? He's I'm already raking in money. I'm already in some hype house that someone else is renting out for me. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go flex on my audience some more. And honestly, like, at least the ego part's just the tip of the iceberg of what can happen. I'm dead. At EDP. He's fucking ruined now. He's lost, what, over 100,000 subscribers over the past couple of days. It's probably going to drop even further. I want all those hundreds, thousands of subscribers. Damn. Give me that! Let's get it He's to He's getting it. dunked on for a different reason. Now, I've never gotten the appeal That's of crazy. Me. I've featured him a couple times on videos, and I've always wondered, how does this guy have subscribers? Yet That's what I like say. Him, so it's like, whatever, what am I to judge? I've never been a proper judge of real talent on this platform, I guess. So. And I said that shit, too, and I was thinking about it. I'm like, how? When you got, when I first started doing, like, when I first started really taking YouTube seriously and started doing YouTube, I never... Like, I look at his channel, I'm like, what the hell? How does he even have fans? How does he even have subscribers? Like, two million? Bro, this dude has two million and just straight talks 
straight shit and says the nastiest stuff that I ever heard. This dude, I remember the first time I reacted to his channel, you guys. This dude put out his ass. His nasty, fat ass. He put out his ass and put up his shirt and showed straight titties. Like, bro, I, like, what? I still don't understand how people, you know, were subscribing to him. I mean, I guess because he was funny. I guess, you know, and he used to say a bunch of shit, but damn. Putting out your ass? <sighs> still have dreams at night thinking about that shit. Why should I about the Eagles but he's been caught in this situation before he was alleged in this web a little under a year ago and he was able to barely he escape it even though he mangled yes i was talking to a 13 year old girl yep. the dumbass got caught again so it's just like shoster fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me and people will still go back to him because it's edp and he's the funny guy who does memes and shit and see laughs yeah at the eagles and farts and shits in chipotle yeah <laughs> Let me put you in on some key knowledge, and I want you to listen closely. Yes, sir. If you're a YouTuber, a TikToker, an Instagram, yep. or a Twitter user, or okay. any sort of social media superstar. Okay. You're not fucking special. You're just a dude who makes videos for the internet. Yep. You create nothing of true note. They maybe escape their situations for 10 to 15 minutes at a time, but that's all you are. And Damn. You know what? It's technically an honor to be in this situation. Damn. You shouldn't abuse it, because guess what? You're not curing cancer. Damn. You're not on the front lines of a war. You are the epitome of replaceable. I can literally drop dead the next day and the world keeps spinning on its axis. The sun rises in the east. The grass True. grows. True. Nothing fucking changes. Changes. And that's the real problem with ego because let's be real. It's a situation that's happened repeatedly before. It's happening right now. And it's going to happen again. And here's Ooh. the real issue. You have to find ways to keep yourself grounded. Maybe it's because I was in the restaurant industry for eight years and I know what it's like to grind and deal with the okay. bunch of bullshit. Maybe that's why I'm acting like this. Maybe I'm biased. But at the same time, let's be real. There's no point in chasing cloud on the internet because this shit's finite. All you can really do is try and tend to your own garden. Because if otherwise you try to get bigger than your britches, at the end of the day, you become EDP 445. It felt like he was going through the motions for a while even before this. It was that whole Dak Prescott shit. He had just been coasting on a past reputation, and when that happens, you're pretty much done. The market on this platform is brutal. People will be undercutting you every chance you get, and if you're not trying to improve yourself, guess what? You're going to get passed up. And that's a situation I have to deal with as well, and that's Damn. why I want to say to each and every one of you, if you catch me doing any of this shit or slipping up, I want you to call me out on it. I think it's fair. Shit's a two-way street, and you should have a voice in whatever the fuck I do, too. Hell yeah. yeah. Today, maybe I'm just planning myself into this situation because it's teaching me a lesson in sort of a regard. Because once again, the power of ego ruins channels. It True. ruins lives. And once again, Predator Poachers and EDP are two fine examples of that. Predator Poachers did nothing but milk this shit for money. They're a bunch of hypocrites, in my honest opinion. <laughs> How the fuck do you care about making money off this? You should be trying to get pedophiles off the streets. That's you don't true. care about the fucking kids. You only care about your fucking e-fame and clout. Congratulations, you baited a fucking dumbass on his own free will. What am I supposed to do? Give you a cookie, pat you on the back, suck your dicks? Hope I have revenue and super chat money's worth it because you have no... <laughs> what the fuck? You almost have suck your dicks. Oh no, my no God. fucking respect in my eyes. Go ahead, fight me on it. I'm not wrong. It's just a shitty situation all around. You have a YouTuber whose career is ruined and another YouTuber who's going to get bigger britches and have their own ruination probably a couple months down the line. Damn. So at the end of the day, I'm going to leave you with this. Are we all just meant to become sick degenerates on this platform? Are a bunch of insufferable TikTokers going to abuse servers and treat people like shit in their hype houses at the end of the day? Probably. At that point, I'm just going to stop rambling and end the video. I'm probably not going to do anything like this again. I just wanted to get this shit off my chest. Damn. Otherwise, I'll go back to doing more sports ball shit. If you want to unsubscribe, I completely understand. Let this be known. Let this be known. I am not a... <laughs> Guess what? Let this be known. I am not a pedophile. Anyways, man, make sure you comment and subscribe. I love you guys. You guys stay swagged up, man, all the time, man. Everywhere you go, you go to school, you go to church, you go everywhere you go, you stay swagged up, okay? I love you guys, man. Look, man, also, you guys, this video is a little, a little week old, a little week old, a couple days old, man. I had to react to urinating tree, man. Um, Yeah, I probably won't be talking to ED.
I, I probably won't be talking about EDP um, no more after this, man. Um, yeah, stay sweaty. I will see you guys in the next video.